Greetings once again, you meddling kids out there. Do's, this, then, back again with another episode of Velma, where previously, Fred and Velma's mom and dad, respectively, or I guess I should have said dad and mom, respectively, have, uh, joined together in more ways than one, and what initially seemed like a bit of a fling has actually turned out to be, uh, an actual relationship. Naturally, Velma's distaste for the rich and her eat the rich mentality puts her at odds with all of this. But one day at the Jones estate, Velma's true colors shine through and that is a asshole. Now a rich asshole, technically. And while initially Fred doesn't want any part of this, while Velma ends up bonding with the jerk off that is Fred's dad, Fred ends up bonding with Velma's mother, who actually does have, well, the capacity to show an emotional love and support in a way that Fred's parents never showed him, especially his mother. And while initially Dia promised Velma that if she won the science fair, he would break things off with Fred's dad, and thus Velma teamed up with Norville, whose dad is obsessed with Norville's form of uh, therapy being getting high, and I don't know why I use air quotes, he means getting high. Ultimately, Norville's project ends up frying the part of his brain that is actually able to show empathy, which is where his hallucinations were coming from, which, I mean, yeah, it was because you felt bad, that's why you were hallucinating, dude. Meanwhile, Daphne and Amber end up teaming up, while initially Daphne tries to play it off with her friends that she's hanging out with the weird girl only because of the science fair project at said science fair, she ends up actually admitting that she likes being friends with Amber. But when Norville ends up telling off his dad, and all of the kids gawk, Norville's dad ends up giving them all detention because of this. Especially his son, because, you know, his son's not doing drugs, which, I know that's the joke, but still, that's, uh, it's, it's a lot. So, let's continue to see where this very, very weird series continues to go. Shall we? Oh, is this a concert? <laughs> Beyonce? Really? Um, a centaur? The hell? Is this how Beyonce concerts start? I've never actually been to one. Oh god, really? <laughs> what the hell? I feel like we picked up all the wrong lessons from Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. I know you're watching me. <laughs> I mean, they can see you from the street, Velma. God, oh my god, he does like public access rate. You know, I don't know how to feel about the weird ways in which this series makes sure that I don't like Velma, cause wow. Oh please, do not bring the Breakfast Club into this. I'm not even that big a fan of the Breakfast Club and I consider that movie sacred. <laughs> the window was rolled down. Although, I, I will admit, Daphne's going a little too far with the whole Wicca thing. That's a pine cone. <laughs> He's still on fire? I am actually surprised that his dad is riding around in Fred's weird ass van. <laughs> they did uh, six hours. Dang. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm starting to understand why they're together, because six hours? Jesus, guys. Wait, who's driving the van? Wait, what? <laughs> huh, right, Gigi's dad is military, and Olive's mom is weirdly jacked? The hell? <laughs> <laughs> Both of your parents work at the school. I don't know how to feel about all this. Fucking <laughs> turd. I'm not gonna lie. Empathy less Norville is actually kind of fun. Lamont, you ain't got shit. Oh, they were friends? Oh god, no, not a flashback. Coke? Oh, jeez. Daphne has distanced herself from all of her friends. Both the bad and the, uh, bad. Well, oh, Daphne does, you know, strike me as one of those kids who would fall into a fad and then fall out of it again later. Honestly, her real friends will be like, ah, this is just like her face from like last year. It, it, just wait it out. She'll be done with it eventually. See, I'm glad you at least acknowledge that between Velma and the Brains and Jars, we're, the popular crowd is already starting to turn it to the weirdos. Well, I mean, Lamont, if you know that Norval isn't acting himself because of forces beyond his control, aren't you giving him detention out of false pretenses? And I, I realize I'm trying to rationalize doing something dickish in this series, so I, I really should just stop, <laughs> right? Aw, oh, he's trying to be cool and relate to the kids. Gigi, 
Pepper spray his ass. Oh, the hell? <laughs> Girlfriend is now a witch. Yeah, there's a lot to start on that one. I mean, they're dealing with kids in horror teen show, teen movie symptoms, so I, I mean, I guess he's right. Yeah, they're doing a breakfast club. It's nothing sacred to this show. Oh god, he actually wants teenage hijink. I feel like this show just takes turns having every two to three characters being the worst, and then it, it just alternates. One of those three is almost always Velma in any given situation, though. I mean, teens are over 80s references. I mean, dude, the popularity of Stranger Things, thanks to Differ, Gen X loser. No, no, I'm a millennial. I'm, I'm a millennial. <laughs> I have to think about it sometimes. This is just reiterating that a lot of things are played out by today's standards. Unless you're remixing it in a fun and interesting way, which this certainly is not, it, it's just passe, man. Uh, I swear to God, it feels like every two episodes we have a moment where Velma and Daphne try to make up in some way, shape, or form, and then somehow, some way, Velma ends up saying the f stupidest, meanest, and most insensitive bullshit, and we're right back to where we started. It, it either is they make up in the episode, or they make up in the course of the episode, and it's the next episode that they have their falling out again, or it's like a moment later they have their falling out. Oh god. Daphne, you, you have too many issues to be kind. Eh, the dress is okay. <laughs> Velma lost herself at how fine Daphne is. I mean, at least there's a genuine interest there. But wait, you you guys are still going out? Like, genuinely? Because, I mean, usually at some point you need to, like, go on a date or something, I would think. I, I don't know how you guys still classify yourselves as a couple when nothing about you is at this moment screaming couple. <laughs> Namaste. Oh god. Uh, and here comes the terrible shit. Okay, so he's been doing this kind of crap a lot, huh? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, Amber. Amber, no. Oh, no. Of course, we'd have to have somebody else being like, Oh, normally you're being haunted by Victoria's ghost. And this is how you get Fred all riled up. And oh, my God. Ah, here it goes. What was the sign? Is her ghost? She's ignoring me. A seance. Oh, God. I ain't... Mean, what better way to get out of the detention than to just give Lamont what he wants? A seance is very 80s. Norville, what the hell are you eating? Why, why does it have a toxic mark on it? Oh god. The <laughs> distraction. Don't that belong to Victoria? Goat blood. Uh, goat blood in the cafeteria. Okay. Is he just literally wandering the halls? <laughs> He feels like he never should have went to law school. Oh god. How long are they supposed to be staying at the neighbor's house? Oh jeez. Hey, you guys aren't down with Amber either. Why are you okay with helping out? Okay, yep, of course. When Velma and the popular kids are on the same page, it just proves that deep down, Velma was always one of them to begin with. She's got the money, she's got the popular kids in her corner, and she's already been judgmental. We continue down the rabbit hole of her being the worst kind of human being. You actually have Steve Buscemi's hand. Huh. She loved her dogs more than anything. His favorite office. Oh, wait. So Gigi's dad. And then Norval's parents. So they were all in the same class? Huh. Well, newspaper club. Oh, boy. <laughs> You still call your husband Lamo? Wait, why did y'all get married then? Uh, uh, oh, he snuck out through the ceiling? Uh, so Lamont is trapped in detention with them. Whoa! Damn, Norva! <laughs> He's still going in for his father's throat. <laughs> Just like, damn. Then again, I have to admit, like, Lamont, you ain't got enough balls on you to have had a child, so it is kind of a question. Oh, bonding moment. Ah, uh, the first time he tried weed. Oh, God. Oh! He Ooh! Okay then. I gotta admit, the blue glow is kinda cool. Um, that's a lot of propane in a very close vicinity to flames. With any luck, someone dies. Yeah, sloth sweat. Uh-oh, girl code. No, they'd believe in girl code. They're that dumb. <laughs> she clogs. Higher power? What higher power has Velma been involved with? Beyonce? What? Okay, look. Beyonce's cool and all, but she is in a form of higher power. Wait, she had an out-of-body experience? Wait, what? Beyonce's music awakens your soul. Okay. Oh, the title is Seance. Okay. I was wondering why that thing on the end of the E was there in the title. Okay. Uh, you know what? If we can walk away from this episode with Lamont getting 
horribly fucked in the face. I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, what actually happened? Oh, he compromised his morals? It, I feel like that's a personal thing, but I will admit. Sometimes when you're on the straight and narrow for so long and you start doing more and more bad things, you end up kind of not knowing where to stop. <laughs> he, became a, he became principal to make sure nobody's lives were ruined by detention? Huh. I still don't understand why you guys got married. Oh god, a seance Oh my god. All you had to do was call it something else, of course. A seance by any other name would just be the same. It's about all these things. It might be haunted by a ghost, Victoria might be innocent, which she's not, or it might just be all BS. That's just because it's about her. Yeah, that's about right. Oh my. I love the lighting in this series sometimes. Oh, there's no way. Ah, huh? oh, freaking burned by a locket. <laughs> Dang, nice throw. Damn. How could she have staged everything? Or they? Is Amber non binary? Oh, she's actually doing some Velma BS. Huh. I mean, it, it is kind of vibing like Daphne's just being shallowly interested in all of this. Oh, just called her an idiot. Wow. Have y'all just been out here in the parking lot fucking? Oh god. Now he has a vendetta against his mom. Uh, friendship loss. Yeah, nah. Although I am glad there are repercussions for Velma being an asshole. Yeah, wait, how are you already healed? Oh god, is he about to actually try weed? This the Cove Asylum. Jane Dupree. Who? What? Edna Purdue. What? Edna Purdue? I don't know, that feels like a stretch. If Norville's grandma is still alive, then again, I don't think we ever got confirmation that she died. Huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> God damn, yeah, they're in on everything that was going on. They, they were really filming this for a Japanese reality show TV? Weird. Is this hot? Wait. So was I not looking for the article the whole time in order to get Don to talk to him? Yes, exactly. It seems this high school is even more unsafe than we thought. Oh, God. Huh. No one died this episode. But now Amon has something on Gigi's dad. Huh. I walked away from this episode not really caring, though. <laughs> like... It just went in some weird directions. Huh. Amber might have been behind everything that was all spooky scary and all that, but at the same time, Velma shot herself in the foot by being an asshole. As per usual. And I continue to appreciate that the series always makes sure that it, Velma ends up getting screwed over in some way, shape, or form, because that's always the cool thing to have happen. If Velma isn't suffering in some way, the show wouldn't be worth it. It's still not, but saying that helps me feel better. Till next time.